Hi, it's Chris from G1D Sounds, and today we're looking at the arrangement parts. Events Pack comes with the fully mixed tracks, which are great to be used really quickly as your backing tracks for your project. However, there are separated musical parts, extremely useful when you need them. Without further ado, let's dive in, and I hope you find this tutorial useful, and I hope it sparks new ideas for your future projects. Just started a new project in Adobe Premiere. Now we can follow exactly the same techniques in any other video editing software or music software as long as you can put multiple audio tracks one above the other. Today we're looking at the arranged parts folder. Let's start by simply choosing one of the tracks. So in this case I'll have together and if you look inside the folder you'll find the arranged parts. You can drag and drop them just like this. And unfortunately, in Adobe Premiere, there is no quick way of doing this. You need to actually drag and drop every single like track, audio track individually. Um, there is a way, but it's quite complex. It's about creating multicam sequence, which we won't get into it into this video. You press play. You will realize this is your full track, um, but now, you can benefit from having an access to each individual part. You can um, you can remove parts, and that gives you quite a lot of control over the music. Okay, let's move on to the next track. Let's go, what about this one? Adventure. So again, let's just drag and drop all the audio tracks. You always want to make sure that the beginning of each of the tracks, they, they aligned. So they start at exactly the same point and they're all the same length. So it should look more or less like this. Again, if you press play, it's your music there. So this is quite a busy track. And if we scroll into the main part, There's this lead that you can actually mute by disabling. You can disable drums as well. All right. You can turn the bass off. Now the other thing we could do is also, let's say you are working with the project and you like this piece of music, but it's too long select all the tracks, trim them from the beginning. And you might argue saying that, okay, but you know, you can do this with any music, but then you, you haven't got the control over what part comes at what point in your project, right? Let's think of the scenario. Let's imagine you have a documentary film and you want the music to start around here, but you have a dialogue going or like people talking and you want your viewer to be able to listen to the people, to what they've got to say without being distracted by the music. And you don't want to be doing it by um, just using the volume control of the whole track. So what you want to do then is actually introduce different parts of the music at different points in your timeline, which is what the music composers would do if they were composing music for you. For example, this part and the acoustic guitar. So acoustic is like rhythm instruments. So they're quite energetic. And so let's just imagine your dialogue has been going around here. So you don't want those parts to come in until this point. So let's create a keyframe at zero dB right here and have it at minus infinity over here. So it's slowly fading in. Let's scroll down and this part right here, it's this sort of nice pad going and we like that. It's not distracting. So we probably want to have it right and not mute it so what about this one again rhythm and there is a piano so these two can actually be faded in at around the same kind of point so there and there but also um, they could start fading in earlier than the other acoustic rhythm that we just keyframed so minus 500 there. 
minus 500 over here. So this is quite nice. And some of the parts will come in. But not all of them still there. Because you're... So you're creating an emotion, you're creating this kind of growing arrangement. And let's say if, if people stop talking right now here and there is some action. Started going now. You could probably bring back all the drums right at this point and so let's enable them back let's zoom in All right so quite a lot of energy and you wouldn't be able to do all that arrangement without being able to access to all the individual parts which i think is quite cool so now i have dropped all the parts from the growing um, composition and because I'm going to add a little bit more audio now good practice and and it doesn't matter what kind of software you're working in is to have some sort of audio limiter at your main output so in Adobe Premiere you can press shift 6 on your keyboard and it'll bring all the audio track mixer and then if you click on this little arrow in the upper left corner will bring all the inputs like um, effect plugin inputs that you can use so let's scroll all the way to the right and this will be your main mix output at the top from the slot drop down choose amplitude and compression and let's choose heart limiter and by default it should be set up to something like 0.1 db and we're going to leave it on the on on this default um setting at minus 0 0.10 db is a good practice you could have it at zero some people argue that having it set at the zero db is actually you risking it having it clipping audio clipping at some systems somewhere in the world so people just like always being very cautious and they're setting this up you know, to minus 0 0.1 dB. So again, you can simply disable some of the parts or have them being introduced um, at different points in your timeline, like we just did. However, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Let's go to back to the together track in the arranged parts folder. There is a pad section, right? And just drop it underneath the first track and the second track. Now you can have a sort of started at the end of the first track and kind of going all the way to kind of halfway through the second track when you simply press play even before fading in it will simply match the track and will sort of naturally extend the music from your first composition and it will bridge to your second position or to your second composition um, which was already arranged by us now this gives you a lot of freedom in terms of timing because you can move everything right and left and so as you can extend and shorten your pad section now, if you wanted to have a little bit more going during this transition time that we've just created with a part section, you can um, go and drop any of the other arranged parts, right? And have those fading in and out. Um, you can also go to your sound effects folder and drop the sound signatures. So. Just like that, just like highlighting the moments. As your second track comes in, you can sort of slowly fade it out by using the keyframes again. 
So instead of the sound signatures here or the other arranged parts, you could be using the loop blocks as well. And I was going to make another tutorial on this, might do if you want. Let me just quickly show you, you can just drag and drop guitar, electric guitar. And if you drop it a few times, it will loop nicely. And then at the end, once you're finished with looping, you drop the tail. So your loop actually rings out naturally with all the reverb rather than just kind of stop. Um, another quick tip is when you're using the tails, we'll make sure to actually kind of trim the loop from the end to the left just a little bit and do the same the other way around for the tail so trim the beginning just slightly like few few frames literally and then select both of them and click Control shift d which will create a crossfade giving you the, per the perfect kind of crossfade If something sounds a little bit off, then try um, moving and just like slightly re-trimming it the other way. So that's nice. 